Alright, I think I'm probably going to be set up a little bit better now as far as doing this deal. So, what's next? What are we doing next? I don't even know, actually. Oh, we'll talk about the battery sled. So, here's one. Oh, let me just grab a freshie. Okay, so they come looking like this. Alright, so they got the big sides up there, all that. So first thing you're going to do is push these in, and the way I do it is I use a screwdriver, push it forward like that, and then use the the Phillips, is this not going to autofocus? <laughs> and mush it down like that. So that's what it looks like. So you're going to cut this off. You're going to cut a corner out right here. And what I do is I cut this whole side up there. So I run my three position switch and voltage reader wires under that. So as you can see there, I cut all that off and you got to be kind of careful or it'll you'll break it so and cut that like that cut that corner off and then put that guy right there so you want it to easily or what I do oh and then I cut it where the negatives are gonna go I cut it down so it's easier for them to land right there. So, and I just use this. Just use a, like that. So, set it in there and see that it fits up against this box wall and that box wall. Nice and snug. And, I don't want this one. That one is going to run down there. So yeah, let's do the voltage reader and the three position switch first. So that's what I guess I'd normally do. And if you're going to put your uh, voltage reader somewhere else, you don't have to. You don't have to cut that chunk of the battery sled off. It's uh, it's literally my least favorite thing to do. So it's probably not as bad as cutting a square hole, but whatever. So then we're gonna do this guy. So <laughs> you can't even see any of what I'm doing, can you? There we go. Focus. There we go. All right. So got this guy. And this is uh, this is the longest. These two are the longest runs of wire in the whole box. So it's gonna come like this, bend right there. Now you can't see any of what I'm doing. Whatever. I wonder if I move some shit around maybe I could do this a little bit better Just bear with me that is that better that looks better yeah, that looks pretty good I even zoom out a little bit there we go look at that 
Alrighty, so this is the piece of wire I just cut, and the reason I cut it like this is because... <laughs> I do this for the lulls. Okay, is that coming in clear? Yeah, so this is going to go here. And so this has to run from here all the way up to here. Well, hand in the way. Whatever, I'll show you when I'm done. So turn the iron on. So, okay. Things are so weird, the little arm things, so they're either too tight or not tight enough. Hard to get just right. Alright, good deal. My iron's hot. Oh, and you can't see any of this. Back up. There we go. needs to be a little bit longer because it's going a little bit further. So about right there. Alrighty. go. Alright, so once you do that, what I like to do is see where it's going to sit. Take this guy, see where it needs to be. And I like to try to hide as much of these wires under the sled as I can, and sometimes it goes really well, sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, purely cosmetic, doesn't affect the performance, nothing like that. And uh, I'll say having the right tools is really important because the first couple of these that I made I was using some real old dull wire strippers where I would have to like like hold the wire real tight right here and just like that and then just torque it and I gave myself a few blisters right there so moving right along this guy's going in the middle in this three position switch, this is how you, you uh, cycle between the uh, remaining battery voltage and then voltage to the 510. So, let's see here. That's not one of, one of these. Like that, like that. Uh, Stay. No, I'm not gonna stay. 
it's weird doing it with a camera because you gotta do things left handed or whatever. Uh, good and then you're going to want to coat this a little shake once you get the back and bottom really good the front isn't as important, you still want to get it though. Is what I like to do before I epoxy this guy in place is turn it on and switch between the values to make sure that everything's working. And if these are exposed, it'll short out against the box, which is ground. And you don't want that. That looks pretty good. Okay, what's next? What are we doing next? We are pretty much to the chip. What else could I do? It's really about it. So, remember from my other video, I did. What I did with the chip, I uh, put the caps in the 7.5K on and then I coated the caps with <laughs> liquid alloy. I've said that probably a thousand times. What can I? LET, liquid electrical tape. But now we're going to use regular electrical tape. And I do 